welcome to lesson 67 on writing tenths and hundredths as decimal numbers. So here we have example A, and this says one tenth. So notice that the uh, denominator is a ten, okay? And when we read this, we say one tenth. If we were to write that as a decimal number, what we've been talking about the last few days is that this first place on this side of the decimal point is called the tenths place. So this is one tenth and 0 0.1 is one tenth because there's a one in the tenths spot. So how do you write one tenth as a decimal? Well, you just put whatever the numerator is in the spot of the denominator, which is the tenths spot. So in other words, if a fraction has a denominator of a multiple of 10, either 10, 100, or 1,000, it's really, really easy to write it as a decimal number. Look for the trend. Here we have three tenths, and that's written as 0 0.3. Here we have five tenths, and I want you to write that one as a decimal here. All right, for B, it says find the fraction and decimal of the white parts. So I have a figure here, and there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 parts. So I'm going to write that as the denominator. That's how many parts there are. And my favorable outcomes, or how many white ones there are, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So as a fraction, that's 7 tenths. What does that equal as a decimal? 0 0.7. All right, go ahead and try the fraction and decimal of the red ones right here. It's the same picture, so it'll have the same whole amount of parts and count up how many red ones there are and then write that as a decimal. Another type of problem you might see would be using pictures. So here, I have a picture showing a mixed number. I have a whole one, and then I have a fraction of a second one. So as a mixed number, I would write how many holes there are. So first I've got one, and then I would count how many parts. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And out of those ten parts, one is shaded in. So I have one and one tenth. I would write that as a decimal by writing the one as my whole number and then the numerator in the tenths spot. So it would be 1.1. Isn't this fun and kind of easy? Looking at example D. So now we're going to apply the exact same thing, but we're going to apply it to finding um, when the denominator is 100. So this number is read 100. And remember that the hundredths place value is the second one behind a decimal. So this is the tenths and this is the hundredths. Centimeter, centi was hundred, it was right in that second place. So if we have one hundredth, the one needs to go in the hundredths spot. And if I, I'll put my one there and if there's no other number there, I'm gonna put a zero to hold my place. So one hundredth is 0.01. Three hundredths is 0 0.03. Twenty one hundredths is 0, is 0 0.21. Remember that the number has to end in the hundredth spot, just like we looked at um, yesterday in class. Okay, so now if we were to apply it to these ones, we've got 12 hundredths. So how am I going to write that? Good, 0 0.12. 4 hundredths, try that one on your own. And 90 hundredths, try that one on your own. And for that one, if you end up with a 0 hanging off on a decimal, you actually can cross it off. You don't need it. So let's see what you come up with. Okay. Another type of problem might say to take a mixed number and turn it into a, a decimal. So here I'm going to take my 4, which will be my whole number, and then I'll take the fraction part and write it 
three tenths, which means the three is going to end in the tenths place. So I have 4.3. Go ahead and try this one on your own, four and three hundredths. So my three needs to end in the hundredths place. It also might tell you to take a decimal and turn it into a fraction. So if I had to write this number as a fraction, I would write the two as my numerator. And my denominator is going to be the place value that this is at. So this is in the tenths place. So I'm going to put it over a 10. And a little trigger should go off in my mind because those are both even numbers. So I can simplify this by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by two. Two divided by two is one. 10 divided by two is five. For this one, I have a whole number of one. And then I'm gonna write my decimal. So my decimal is 32 as my numerator. And my denominator will be the place value that the last number is in. So this is the tenths and this is the hundredths. So it's going to go over a hundred. And now this number is also even for both sides. And although I wouldn't expect you necessarily to be able to reduce this on your own yet, since I'm helping you, I will do that for you. So 32 would divide by two. And so that would give you 16 over 50. And if I divided them by two again, I would get eight over 25. So my final answer would be one and eight 25ths. All right, go ahead and try these last two on your own. Make them into fractions. Try to, re or you can reduce them into their simplest forms because uh, the numbers, well, they'll actually already be in the simplest forms. So you don't have extra, any extra work to do there. But go ahead and get to work.